Qatar's cultural firmament isn't simply the preserve of the highbrow. It enjoys a popular appeal. To this day, the musical legacy of Rabindranath Tagore is transmitted to generations through hundreds of such schools. Well-known singers like Shubir Shen, here at his Calcutta Music School, find time to train tender voices, to mold them in Bengal's most enchanting musical tradition, the Rabindra Sangeet. <laughs> For over half a century, this musical heritage has found obsessive appeal, creating, as it does, romantic imagery with soft melody. Rono baja baje ghono ghono chono rono 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 chono chono. She ki damo ki damo ki damo ki damo ki dama dreamy dreamy gamo ki gamo ki. Ote chote 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 lote fote bol ni fini ki chamo ki chamo ki dal talo vare ghono ghono. Ei prithibir rono rakto shafolata shotto. Tobu shesh shotto naoi. Kolkata ek din kollo lini tilo tama habe. Tobu tomar kache amar shidai. शौर्गो जो दे कुथाओ थाके आकाशे माटी ते माटीर नीचे ना शौर्गो कुथाओ नहीं किंतु एकाने एक कोलकाता ही रोए थे Poetry has its own showcasing. Calcutta has literally thousands of poets, not all very successful or talented, but recitation sabhas are popular and give the city's already crowded cultural menu one more option to present. बेअनेट होक जत धारालो, कास्तेट धाद्दियो बंधु, शेलार बम होक भारालो, कास्तेट शांदियो बंधु, बाकानो चादेर शादा फालीते, तुमी बुझी खुब भालो बाशते, चादेर शतो काज नहेतो, एजोगेर चाद होलो कास्ते, इश्पाते कामानेते दुनिया, जारा Literature commands an impressive following and remains a passion with the educated Bengali middle class. Calcutta's celebrated College Street houses bookstores which are thronged by the bibliophiles. But it is the countless literary magazines which sustain and revitalize this interest in literature and poetry. Kolkata the literary magazine bero shita ekta unique bapar. Ami prithibir arpono shahor theke ato literary magazine bero bolle. आह जाने ना खूब शाम्बा बोलते हैं खाने के दूसरो तीन शो चार शो या कुम लिटिल मैगज़ीन रखा शो भी रहे प्रधान समय होते हैं अखुन बुक फेयर शमय रविन्द्रनाथ के जन्मदिन टाइम खाने खूब बड़े भावे पालन करा है रविन्द्रनाथ के जन्मदिन में प्रचुर पत्ते बोलते के भी रहे आर दुर्गा पूजा शमय and almost every educated Bengali waits with interest to read the latest creative effort of his favorite. For those who live in Calcutta, the creative tradition is focused and shaped to some extent by the Adda, an informal get-together. Groups discussing ostensibly serious gossip or even light chatter. Many of Calcutta citizens justify this great pastime and claim it as responsible for inspiration and cross-fertilization of ideas. Adda Dakta Kolkata Pran, Bangali Jatiyo Boshishto Bala Jata Pare, Eta Bangali Adha Patanaro Karuni Adda, Unnotiro Karuni Adda. Anenge Bale Bangali Da Kaj Kaya Na Shudu Kotha Bale, Shudan Adda Mare. Abar Bangali Da Jati Chukai Notun Kachu Srishti Tahar Toh Yaya Adda Dar Muddha Thakki Beri Aash. ते ये आड़ा होने के रखो मेरा चे बौद्धिक दिल आड़ा आज हम शून्य ची आज वाला शोध्यन बोशुर मतलब बौद्धिक दिन ही हो तार समोसामे एक बौद्धिक दिन ही आड़ा देते हैं शिल्पी दिल आड़ा आज यार छोबियां के लिए विभिन्न जायगा है काफी रेस्तरां मौजा ने आड़ा दाय इधर किंतु कुछ आउट नहीं है एन एक्सटेंशन 
these writers and poets gather to exchange ideas and stimulate the mind. The 300th year of Calcutta was celebrated by the leading painters with a series of canvases interpreting the theme of the city Calcutta. As rich and varied as this presentation was, it was also testimony to the vitality of the Calcutta art scene. It carries on a legacy inherited from the works of the past masters, such as Nandlal Bose and Jamini Roy. But the current crop of artists display individual styles and maturity, which makes them favorites in the Indian art market. Ganesh Pine's melancholic renderings have a mystique. Bikash Bhattacharya's use of light and brilliant colors, as also his experiments with textures, have made his work accessible and appreciated by thousands. Horitosh Sen's works are steeped in social reality and the quasi-satirical style he employs is his comment on the city. I personally find that life on the streets of Calcutta, the pavements of Calcutta, for me that is very important. That is what I look at all the time as I uh, go out. You know, I am constantly looking at life uh, on the on the on these uh, uh, streets. I find it fascinating. It is ever-changing and the variety, the diversity is fantastic. It is absolutely fantastic. You don't see it elsewhere. activity which drives the city to a state of frenzied hysteria is football. This people's game has a fan following in Calcutta as nowhere else in the world, matching the fanaticism of South American football mania. Football. বিশেষ করে বাঙালির এক হৃদয় স্থান পেয়েছে বিশেষ করে ইসমাহল মোহন বাগান মাহমুদান যখন খেলে সে বিদেশি যদি আর্জেন্টিনা দল হয় বা জার্মানি হয় বা ইংল্যান্ড হয় বোধহয় ইসমাহল সমর্থক মোহন বাগান সমর্থক এবং মাহমুদান সমর্থক তাদের লক্ষ লক্ষ দল বেঁধে তারা আসবেন এবং তাদের দলকে সাপোর্ট করবে ইট ইজ নট ফুটবল অ্যালোন উইথ জেনারেট সাচ হিস্টেরিয়া ক্যালকাটা হ্যাজ অলওয়েজ বিন প্যাশনেট টুয়ার্ডস এনি স্পোর্টিং অ্যাক্টিভিটি the 1987 World Cup cricket final was held in the Eden Gardens, Calcutta's proud cricket arena, and one of the largest ever cricket attendances anywhere in the world was recorded. It is this participation of the common man in Calcutta's cultural scene which gives the city its palpable dynamism.
passion and energy of modern Calcutta seems to be channelized constantly to various modes of expression. And the throbbing ingredients of entertainment found in the heart of the city's Maidan area gives this metropolis an almost magical experience. A city whose hospitality allows street performers and acrobats from all parts of the country a chance to showcase their talent. Almost every evening, in an old school building in North Calcutta, Rudra Prasad Sengupta, one of Calcutta's leading theatre directors, rehearses his plays. His Nandika theatre group stages a variety of dramas, ranging from political satires to translations, like this one of Bertolt Brecht's The Good Woman of Sedzwan. Most of the actors in this group, as in numerous other semi-professional theatre groups of Calcutta, work free, driven by an obsessive love for theatre, especially for those plays whose themes have an undercurrent of political and social comment. I politics politics that Jesus Christ did, the politics that Karl Marx did, that Lenin did, that Mao at one point believed in, that Che at one point believed in, that Gandhiji at one point believed in, and practiced. Any politics say Kathavaji, honesty, love, tolerance, and to uh, find the centrality of man and at the same time his place in the total social cosmos. Any Ji Jaya Vishashit Jagata. I mean, she politics say Kathavaji, politicking, chair, party, immediate Panjabachar Godi, that kind of politics are Kotha Bolchina. Pratek Bar, Pratek Bar Shaman no Shubichar Chayle Kano Mone Hai, Ami Jano Chakra Bhuvahe Bundi Obimamu, Are Shokta Ruchira, Annai Bhave, Aake Gheera Gheera Chhe, Pratek Bar, 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 Bar. Today, Calcutta's theatre, like its cinema, has two distinct movements. The more serious one was pioneered by giants like Shambhu Mitra and Utpal Dutt. And this theatre is very much a product of the social consciousness of the city. The support this kind of theatre receives from the Calcutta crowd is what gives the movement its momentum. Calcutta's traditional theatre is the hugely commercial successes patronized by thousands. These plays are mostly a cultivated mix of melodrama, slapstick comedy, or popular stories. But what makes this theatre remarkable is the active participation in these plays by some of the leading actors and actresses of the Bengali film world. 
Srila Mujumdar is one of the well-known names of the serious cinema, an award-winning actress of repute. She takes time off regularly to act in plays which are staged in theatres of North Calcutta like The Star, which relies entirely on public patronage for survival. <laughs> If one event gives Calcutta's cultural scene its dominating motive, it is the Durga Puja festival. In reality, this puja should be called a religious ritual. Yet, so pervasive is its influence, so spontaneous is the participation from all communities, it can be dubbed as the biggest cultural act of Calcutta. Durga Puja is, um, well, our main, uh, main Bengali festival. And that's something that everyone shares in like, even as long as they're Bengalis, whether they're Muslims, whether they're Christians, whether they're uh, Brahmos, whatever, I'm, I'm a Brahmo, but I used to equally participate in the Durga Puja of the Pada when I was a child. So that's, that's a very sort of unifying factor. This suburb of Kumartuli is a colony of artisans. Their profession is to make the prothimas or statues of the many gods whose pujas are celebrated at different times of the year in Bengal. Come August, the artisans are busy shaping out of mud the statues of Durga, the mother goddess. The mud which will be used for the statues is brought from the banks of the river Hooghly and the artisans begin shaping the prothimas with great care and affection, their hands weaving magic as they mould and shape the mud and straw into the form of the goddess. There is almost a ritualistic style to the work at hand and horoscopes are consulted for the auspicious moment when the artisans breathe life into the idols, a moment when they paint Durga's large, beautiful eyes. Once again, Durga has returned to Earth, and for the next five days, Calcutta is in the grip of a maddening frenzy. Amidst the blowing of conch shells and the throb of drums, the triumph of Durga and her homecoming is celebrated. It is now time for the goddess with ten hands, riding the ferocious lion, to be immersed in the holy waters of the Ganga. <laughs> <laughs> 